I wonder if you've ever had this sort of experience. Never you got the wrong number, sir. You know, this is Kensington 550044 6600. Go, go. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. The phone directory is the name of this film, which has been made because far too many people simply won't take the trouble to use the telephone directory. And the result is the sort of thing we've just seen. You'll invariably get the wrong number simply because you've forgotten the right one. The telephone directory is there for people to use. The Oslo directory alone contains more than 15 and a half million written characters. And you might like to know that at the most there is one misprint per 10,000 entries, which means mathematically that it is 100% accurate. So use the directory and you'll spare yourself and others unnecessary annoyance. But having made this point, we should like to show you a few random glimpses of the life story of the directory. Here on the wall, you can see our very first directory. One page from a local paper. Nice and handy to produce and convenient to use. Moving at a bound forward to the year 1969, you will see here the setup type for two pages of the Oslo directory. The types are cast line by line. The type for the Oslo list of subscribers weighed about 10 tons. The 1969 directory was the last one in this country to be printed in this classic way. Today, 10 tons of lead have been replaced by this magnetic tape. This little reel contains some 220,000 entries of names, titles, addresses and phone numbers for the 1970 directory. Everything is arranged alphabetically and is kept up to date all through the year. In the electronic machine, we can arrange entries according to name, according to address, and according to telephone number. The point is that we print three different directories. And right up to 1969, we had to have three different sets of type for this purpose, weighing together just about 30 tons. But apart from the electronics, all necessary information must, of course, be collated and checked, both before and after it has been printed in the directory. When in doubt, of course, you can use the phone. After all, everything must tally exactly. And this is not least important when the bill is sent out. Every single entry is checked and rechecked. Has the form been correctly filled in? Title, branch, street and house number? Everything must be absolutely correct. Here a note is being made that a fresh entry or an addition must be inserted. And now we are ready to take the entries right through to the printing process. 
typesetting is no longer done on a typesetting machine, but with something that looks rather like an ordinary typewriter. The text is transferred together with various code signs to a punched tape. Punch tapes are used to feed all data into the EDP center, where they are recorded on a single little spool of tape, which in the last resort will contain the directory at all times in its correct and fully revised form. In accordance with the code signs, the EDP machine ensures correct line adjustment, decides what is to be printed in bold or ordinary type, the arrangement in columns, and the insertion of guide words at the head of every column. entry is now proofread once more. Any corrections and alterations are entrusted to the electronic brain which carries out corrections at a speed that is quite incredible. Every operation is completed in a matter of seconds. The spool, in fact, contains the whole type setup for the Oslo directory. The entire Oslo directory can be typeset in two hours, and the EDP machine is programmed in such a way that entries can be resorted according to address or phone number. In other words, taking as our starting point this single magnetic tape, we can print three different publications, and the tape can be kept currently revised so that it's 100% up to date when the directory goes to print. By means of special electronic guide codes, letter by letter and column by column, the whole thing is transferred to film plates at a speed corresponding to 40 ordinary setting machines. The film is then transferred by translumination to zinc plates with a device that is ultra sensitive to light. The zinc plates are etched in an acid bath and the printing elements are ready for the rotary press. It costs about 15 million crowns to print the telephone directory of which something like a million and a half copies are issued. This involves the use of nearly 2,000 tons of paper and the number of pages is by now nearly 6,000. Binding is done automatically according to the most modern and advanced methods in a binding plant which binds 25,000 copies in the course of a day. Production is without comparison the biggest book printing job in the whole country. To accommodate all these directories you would require a shelf over 20 miles long.
The Telephone Directory is not only Norway's most comprehensive publication, it's also the publication which is most critically appraised by the general public, and rightly so, because the Telephone Directory must give correct and up-to-date information in the service of communications. More than 770 million phone calls are made every year via the Norwegian Telecommunication Centre. An unnecessarily large number of these are wrong numbers, which could have been avoided if the telephone directory had been used more often. The directory is issued every year. Always use the latest edition. Har du fått telefon? Jo, jo, visst har jeg fått telefon. Leser du ikke telefonkatalogen da?